Yo, what's going on, too? As you can see, I'm back at it, and the, and the car is back up with the hood up. But I'm um, still trying to rectify the, some small problems. As you can see, this is the old air compressor. Look like it's seen better days. Um, let me tell you something. This is, woo, I had some time trying to get this joint out. Anybody that worked on these cars know, it seemed like, from the forums, people know that getting this air compressor out is a uh, man, you fill in the blank. So, the air compressor, and this ain't gonna be a long video, this is some short video. I just came out here to do it real quick. I've been trying to get at this and trying to tackle this for like two days now. Uh, I finally decided I was gonna get in here and do it. Anybody know uh, these, these uh, LT1s? or L99s, whatever you want to call them. The air compressor is all the way down there, all right? The air compressor is all the way down there. Hold on, I'm sorry about that, y'all. The air compressor is all the way down there. Okay, and this is the front of the engine. The air compressor usually sits right below or right beside the tensioner uh, pulley. So, let me tell you something. I'm thinking you know, when you think it's going to be easy, it's going to be hard. I'm thinking the air compressor sits right here. And it's three bolts, which it is three bolts on the air compressor. So I'm like, bet, that's nothing, right? So I'm looking at the forms or whatever, and they talking about how difficult it is. So I'm like, it don't look difficult. So I proceed to do it myself after asking uh, my local shop how much it was going to cost to replace it. So I said, you know what? I could tackle this. Let me tell you something, man. This is tighter than tight. I mean, it's tighter than the frogs. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this joint is tight, tight. Like, what the heck is going on? You know what I mean? Like, why would they even put it all the way down there and you couldn't get to it, you know? Um, let me show what it entails. So, as you can see, that down there is the air compressor, as you can see. And these three bolts are the bolts that hold house in the front, right? Three bolts of the bolts of the house in the front, which is no problem to get to. Nothing. Easy. Light work. You know what I mean? But on the back of the air compressor, this is what you got on the back of the air compressor, right? On the back of the air compressor, you have your... So, these are the bolts in, in, in the front of the air compressor. So, those are easy. They ain't nothing. But this back, man, let me tell you something, man. This is... Uh, in the blank so you got the lines that go on here and again i didn't um i didn't vacuum the the the, the it, it was already empty put it that way it, uh it was it was bone stop empty um i took it to uh ac shop and they said it is is empty they they filled it and they took the uh refrigerant out of it so there was no refrigerant in here uh so before anybody jump on my case, it was no refrigerant in there. So needless to say, long story short, needless to say, you got this bolt that go here, right? That go on that nut right there. So that holds the two AC lines on. That's That was tough, but it wasn't that tough. You know what I mean? But here in lies the problem, this bracket right here. Now, mind you, I've only found one video, and I'm going to shoot this straight through. I only found one video on YouTube about changing this air compressor out. And I see why. Because it might just be easy to pull the whole thing out. But um, needless to say, this bracket right here is the problem. Okay. Within this bracket, these two bolts, is a Torx bit. Let me see if I can find it here. Which is a Torx bit that goes like this. Okay. It goes like that. It sits about yay deep inside the the block or whatever. Okay. Why? I guess because they figure it's too heavy. Whatever is the case, but sheesh, they could have made it a little easier to get to. So with so it's not just a torx. With on that torx, you have a bolt that sits here. Okay. And that bolt goes all the way down, all the way down to the base. I'm sorry about that. It goes all the way down to the base. Okay, getting that bolt off wasn't that difficult. 
You know what I mean? It was it was a little rough, but it wasn't that difficult. But in order to get, once you get that out, it's not like you could just slide the whole thing out because this is just torques. It's just too long. So you won't be able to pull the compressor out. So you got to un, you gotta undo this from the block. So I had to order a t Torx uh, bit from Amazon. Like I said, it was only one video on YouTube about this. Well, that I found. I, I can't say it's only one because that, that I seen. And it was for a Buick Roadmaster. Uh, and the guy did a great job of explaining it because without his video, I would have been lost. So big ups to him. I got to look up uh, his video and maybe drop it down in the link. But uh, he, showed, he showed how he did it. So I proceeded to do it the same way. But this was cool. I'm thinking, all right, bet I'm halfway there. I had to order me a torch set. I did that, and man, trying to get a wrench, a ratchet, and a torque bit in there, man, bro, I was sitting on the engine, I was sitting on the fender, I was sitting on the engine, bro, it was like, it's like the space inside is so small just to get this off, because, again, once you run through the boat, you can slide the compressor to about right here, but it won't get over there. Now, with that being said, is this going back in there? Mm, we'll see because not only is it rough i'm trying to think how am i going to align this hole up with the block i guess i bolt the front up and then blindly you know what i mean until i find it but even if i do do it i don't know if i'm running it in there that, that deep as it was it's about that deep about that deep in there you know what i mean it was hard to get out of there i don't know man <laughs> be honest with you I wouldn't even think about just leaving them. <laughs> that suck out just in case I ever got to do it again. But whatever I do, even if I well put it back in, it ain't going to be tight. It ain't going to be super tight, man, because this was ridiculous. I mean, this was meant for you to take it back to the dealer. Now, I've seen on some on the threads, and people were saying that, you know, if you lift up the motor, you can get in there. If you lift up the motor, undo the motor mount, lift it up. You know what I mean? That's cool. That's cool, but I ain't really want to lift up the motor or undo the motor mounts. So I did it this way. So needless to say, the air compressor is out of there. Out of there. She out of there. So needless to say, the air compressor is out of there, and I'm happy for that. Okay, now I got my other one coming in the mail. So as you can see, she's out of commission for right now. Um, the issue I was having with this long story short is I would charge the unit and it would just, it would be, it would bleed out. I did that once. I took it to the AC shop and they put it on a vacuum test and it was no refrigerant in there at all. So it, apparently it all leaked out. So, uh, I did the dye situation. As you can see, it was green and, um, you saw a little sparkles here and there. So I did that situation. So I figured I'll just replace it. Um, you know, the guy saying he he couldn't really, he would have to take it apart to really figure out where it's coming from because it was, you know, it was sprinkles of it all around here. You know what I mean? But would that be enough to evacuate it within a day or so? As you can see, it's green. That's the dye. Would that be enough to evacuate the whole thing in a day or so? He was saying maybe not. So, but either, the, either way, he was saying that uh, definitely go ahead and replace it because it definitely was seeping out, you know, salt particles. So there you have it, y'all. That's a little something like that was my struggle. Um, that was my struggle. So well, as anybody knows with these old vehicles, you know, they kind of snowball. But um yeah, I'm going to put this AC compressor back in here, and I'm going to run this joint. Now, I was detecting a little leak here. I'm not sure is this from the seal, but see, now it's dry. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm getting all this gunk from, or was it or well, all this gunk was coming from the air compressor because it's like heavily gunked up down here. So it's some, either something leaking or, you know, or it was a compressor that was spilling out all over the place. But I'm trying to locate it, which is hard. Um, my one mechanic shop told me to check the little O-ring uh, that's by the uh, 
water pump. But that, again, that entails taking all the cooling out and all that other stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm going to um, cut y'all back on when I put it back in. That was only a little something light for the day. I'll let y'all know what my progress is. Y'all, as always, be good. Be safe out there. And be blessed.